Hey everyone, it's David Oak Dog Farm. It's the secret package, what do you think it is? Got some great guesses. Nobody quite nailed it, but uh, pretty excited. New tool for the farm. And uh, something I think is going to be really useful. You guys ready? spin you guys around all right and there it is that's how it comes all all created up you can see they use some of the parts themselves to build the pallet it's pretty clever all right I'm gonna get on with the unboxing I already took a few things off the top and uh, then I'll get into this piece in a little bit and I'll kind of show you what's in here and uh, how it all comes how it all comes packed so let's take a look at this this is how it shows up nice narrow little pallet Hard to believe that that contains a 17 foot long sawmill, but it does. Well, that's kind of cool. Those are going to be handy. Take a nice belt on top. It's my leveling feet to level up the uh, level up the machine. Five foot bed section. So two five foot bed sections. I can see some sort of little bar in there. All right. Let's start taking these off. There we go. A bed rail section. Very interesting. So you got uh, two five foot rails. These are the uh, intermediate pieces like ladder rungs and these diagonal braces and all the hardware required. Very nice. All right, well, I'm gonna get the other one opened up and get these ones out of the way so I can see what's underneath. Extensions have been removed and these are uh, some log clamps. I ordered some extra because I have a longer bed than stock. So those are extra log clamps and guides. I hadn't decided to unwrap that. I'm getting all the plastic off this thing because I'm just going to store these parts outside. It's going to live outside. But uh, so that is a partially assembled log clamp that was on top previously. Okay, I'm going to cut some of these tags off. This one looks like it's loose. This is the blade. This thing's well packaged, doesn't look like anything shifted at all. This must be a whole bunch of hardware or something. Alright, what's in the mystery box? Oh, all sorts of little goodies. Oh, parts list. Oh, cool. A couple of baseball hats. Yeah. Well, that looks like the uh, sawdust chute, the water tank for uh, lubricating the blade, uh, some brackets and goodies. One cool thing at the bottom, it's one of these uh, ratcheting wrenches. I'm pretty much, pretty much certain this is going to be the one that attaches all the uh, all the bolts in the bed frame. Pretty cool. Okay, next up, these are more of the uh, cross braces for the frame. It's another one of the log clamps. So I'm just going to kind of slide all those out and stack them up in my pile. 
and we'll see what else we can find in here. Let's see if I can't get myself a little access here. out of here without scratching everything. Here we go. Another log clamp. Inside of this one has the cutting gauge. Okay, now I said I was going to yank these out and stack them up, but as you can see, each single one of them is bolted to the floor. So I'm going to unbolt those. I won't make you watch me do that, and I'll get them out of here. No, I'm not, because uh, I'll have to get an extension. My drill doesn't fit really down in the hole. So, instead, I'm going to take apart the wood crate so I can get these extra bed sections out of the way so I can get in there. Come right off. No problem at all. If we look, this is the same stuff that is in the, the uh, upper the upper boxes for the most part. A bunch of cross braces, diagonals, bed rails, etc. Look at all these fun little lags and stuff I get to put in my pocket and use for another project. That just leaves us the saw head, which I checked, so I'm surprised, it's not even bolted down. And uh, it's it's heavy, but it's not it's not absurd. It's a two-person job, for sure, but uh, my son's coming over tomorrow, so uh, that'll work out pretty well. A little look at the back side here. This is the ratchet handle, that, so you can, you can uh, drive it through the material, I believe. Crank the handle and it pulls it along through the wood. Got the, uh, I got the, the uh, larger motor. Uh, these usually come with a seven horse. I ended up to go with the uh, nine and a half horsepower. That looks like a whole bunch of fun, guys and gals. And here's one look at all the parts pulled out and basically organized. Diagonal braces, crossbars. Not sure exactly what the black bars are for. Um, I think these things tie these sections together, if I remember right, when I was reading the instructions. And these are the bed rails themselves. Lots of hardware, some log clamps, and then a bucket of assorted stuff. So, some assembly required. Well, I'm sure some of you remember all my chainsaw milling I did last year, and all of these trees I got cut in the fall, and I needed to get these dealt with. And uh, if I, I knew if I used the chainsaw mill, it probably would have taken me just about all summer to process these trees. And uh, why not get the mill, make the work easier, so I can get on with other things, number one. And uh, secondly, we have a, a disease on our hemlock trees, it's called hemlock woolly adelgid, and um, I've started to see it in some of our trees, and we're going to unfortunately start losing a lot of our hemlocks. And a standing dead hemlock might as well be a candle, and uh, for fire reasons, i got to get them out of here as they die. So the mill made a lot of sense now at this point, because I am going to have a lot of wood to deal with here in the coming years. So thanks a lot for watching today. Uh, check back soon. As soon as the ground thaws a little bit, I'm going to start putting it together. Right now, we're, we're frozen up to about an inch from the surface, so it wouldn't make sense to set it up and level it right this very minute, but it's coming very soon. So thanks for watching. As always, please uh, hit the thumbs up on your way out, and I'll see you soon.